Now, there has been a lot of confusion, I guess, when it comes to who are heels and oh, who are yeah. faces when it comes to Monday Night Raw. And it's there's more confusion when you go to SmackDown and you see, oh, I wonder who the heel is. And then you see Becky and you go, that's the heel? Everyone likes her. No one likes Charlotte. It's weird, man. It's really weird. I don't like. I I don't. I don't understand why they're trying to f- force. I I know she can do it. She can do it, and she's gonna put her heart and soul into this heel turn. She's gonna make people despise her, you know. But I, you know, she's gonna drop the puns. She's gonna drop the the straight fire. I think she's gonna be a lot more of a. a you're gonna see a lot of her matches turn into striking matches. Like she's gonna hit you. Um, I really liked when she, when she said, um, uh, I'm going to take back what's mine. You bitch. You know why she said country. that? You know why she said bitch, right? No, I don't. Because whenever Roman Reigns says it, he gets a pop. So they, oh. their thinking was probably, Ooh, let's have Becky say this quote unquote bad word and the crowd's going to like it. Yeah. I reckon that's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, Especially okay, especially going to the you know raw standpoint, where you've got <laughs> you've got the shield coming out one night and putting Braun through a table, which is like in that sense, all right, Braun's the heel, or no, Braun's the the big baby face. Everyone loves him. Everyone wants him to be champ, and then the shield are the group of bad guys because they keep billing him as this is the shield from old. This exactly. is not. This is not the 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 what was it? 2017 returning shield? This is not the TLC shield. This is yeah. what was it? 2014 shield? Well, you This is look first at that a couple different to... ways though because you have the original shield who were technically heels and then they slowly turned into baby faces when they did the evolution feud. And then Seth that's, turned. That's true. So, cuz I think they might have realized these guys need to be heels. Let's just make one of them heels. Um, and they're, they're really billing this as this is the shield of old. This is what you got. These are the hounds of justice. And they come out the this last Monday. Uh-huh. And they just get their shit rocked. Well, like I said, they didn't even come out together. It was Dean came out to try and save Roman. He got beat up. Seth came out later. He got beat up. So it was like, eh. And then you've got McIntyre, <laughs> Dolph, who are heels, those two guys. There's no doubt about what those guys are. It is, you know, fact of the matter, they are heels. I, I, I'm just, I, I just, I don't know. Well, here's my thing. So Braun came off to me as a big heel. He had the look on his face like, I'm pissed, I'm a heel, da 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 Well, he screamed, uh, I told you I'm not finished with you, and then headbutted him. Right, but what if, what if Braun is not quote-unquote heel, but he knows that there's common enemies between him, McIntyre, and Ziggler with the shield. So he's going to align himself with them to use them for his own good, and then eventually... Just be like, oh, I don't need you guys. Pfft, you're gone. I'm still, you know, R- uh, Braun Strowman by myself, a baby face, or whatever I want to be. Because also, he was a damn heel throughout the Kevin Owens stuff. Yeah, you can't throw a man off a ladder and a cage. I don't blame Kevin you for can't quitting. <laughs> lock a guy in a porta potty and then try to throw it off the stage could you, could and be you a baby face. Taking crazy fing bumps to get a guy over as a baby face, and then in like 15 seconds he turns heel. I'd f- Quit too. Oh, that was you no. Know, yeah, no. That what a right kick there. to the wiener. No. That's just not fair. That was. Oh, ridiculous. poor Kevin Owens. Hey, you can buy his Kevin Steen merch on Pro Wrestling Tees. <laughs> you can buy again? the. Yeah, you can buy the Tommaso. This is my moment shirt. I saw I'll, that. You sent I, me a text. I, I might. I might use some financial aid money to buy it. But I just. I don't understand. What they're trying to do with the idea of and we're blurring the line. It feels like they're thinking we're going to blur the lines between heel and face. Right. So we can get – like it's almost like they are they don't want natural reactions. They want genuinely cheers from everybody. They want people to but cheer. But here's the thing with the Charlotte thing, the way SmackDown went off the air. They purposely, I think, 
saw that reaction she was getting sitting in the ring. And so they put the camera on her for about 20 seconds where yeah. the crowd was just booing yeah, they were so just, loud. You could right. see the people jumping up and down with the thumbs down behind her. Well, it that was, was to just, get her over as a baby face. Be sympathetic. No, they the were fans, booing. No, I, I, think, I know. But I think they're, they're, I, I think they switched it up. They're gonna they're gonna change their minds. They're gonna let Becky be the baby face and Charlotte be the heel. How can you do that after that Becky promo? How how can you do that after the picture she posted on Instagram? How are you gonna make her the baby face? Because well, what picture What's she got attacked from? What picture that she got attacked from behind? No, it was Becky posted a picture of her holding the title, and the caption was TikTok, bitch. Because bitch is supposed to be the cool thing. Roman is the only other one to say bitch, and he gets a cheer when he says it. I really okay, so I I really like how they're going about. Uh, I guess kind of like making her almost like a stone cold type character. Yeah, and Bully I Ray think... actually said on his radio show, "Busted Open," that he felt it, and the uh, you know fans feel it and stuff. That she's a I they're trying to make her a stone cold version. Here's the interesting I think she thing: could do it. She of all people. Maybe to be the next kind of stone because but who that's was what the they last wanted Ambrose? Cold. But that's what the fans wanted Ambrose to be too. Right, but do you know who was the Stone Cold after Stone Cold? I don't know. Punk. Yeah, I guess. Punk was the total Stone Cold, which is minus the beer. It smashed two vitamin waters together. Here's the funny thing. So in that promo right after SummerSlam, Becky said, "You know, I'm not going to attack you from behind. I'll do it right to your face, like she did at SummerSlam, right?" Yeah. So then that week they post something on their YouTube channel about um, – what was it? It was like NXT's five biggest um, turns or attacks or something like that. Mm-hmm. And one literally is – I think it was Sasha beating up Bailey in the ring. So Becky runs down to make the save. They get Sasha out of the ring. Bailey's like leaning over the ropes talking crap to Sasha – so Becky attacks her from behind and aligns with Sasha. That was what, PCB? No, this was NXT before they all came to the main roster. Right. No, dumbass, I'm saying, yeah, didn't that form PCB? No. No, because that was No, Paige. you don't remember when Becky was yeah, I like remember. Sasha's I remember. henchman for a yeah, while? Yeah, when, like, when she was like super like punk rock style, not like... Well, when she still had the Irish music. <laughs> yeah. Five bucks for Christmas. Then, that will Flip Gordon stay all in? Will, or will Flip help Cody? We'll have to see. We're going to talk about it in the predictions. But it's like Becky's over here. I'll, I won't attack someone from behind. If I'm going to attack them, I'm going to attack them from, you know, in front of their face. And then literally that week they post that video on their YouTube. I think it's what like, I, I think what I like though is that idea of her being like, I'm going to kick your ass, and I'm going to make sure you see me coming when I come to kick your ass. Because you know what I think they can do. You know what they can sell. Attack from behind on this week's SmackDown. Because you know what some kid's going to have in the crowd next mm. week? I guarantee, I promise you. What? A really crudely drawn Becky 316. Mm, I don't know. And they are going, no, they're going to hard cam that shit. Well, they would, yeah, but I don't know and if then someone would. you're going to get merchandise for it. I don't think they should do Becky 316 because that would be too. See, okay, Steven. I, I completely understand where you're going. As Steven says, I'm sorry I have to ask, what's the hype about Becky? The hype with Becky is that imagine you are a player for the Boston Red Sox. And in the minors, you hit 200 home runs and you had 900 stolen bases. And you come up to the majors, and then they just kind of, like, sit you on the bench. You maybe get, like, an at-bat here and there. And then one day, one day, your manager's just like, F*** it. Let's just put you in the lineup tonight. Let's start you. And then you just show up, and you do great. You do this phenomenal job. You hit 100 home runs. And then all of a sudden, the manager says, all right, we, we see that. Not anymore. Get out. They gave <laughs> Becky the they gave Becky the title. They were like, "Oh, awesome! That was great." F- you though, get to the back of the line. She floundered, floundered, and then all of a sudden, now she's getting what she deserves. She's a really good wrestler. She's the best out of the four horsewomen. She's probably the second best on the women's roster behind Oscar. Oscar. And I have something to say. I have something to say about Oscar matches with kind of 
clicked with me recently. Anyways, Becky. Becky. Your baseball analogy. Where's it going? Yeah. It's it's that feeling, and then you get called back up, and you finally get the chance to shine. You get the chance to shine and be your own person and go out there, and then all of a sudden people have signs for you. People are cheering for you. They're booing the Yankees. I f***ing hate the Yankees. That's why I'm using this analogy. <laughs> so it's it's that idea of working so goddamn hard, getting the call, doing great when you get the call, and then they just shut you down. And then... Once they're like, all right, maybe we'll put you back in, you blow it out of the goddamn water. A text line 734 says, Nick, I'll make a sign for you, Becky316, since I'm a Michigan, and they'll be in, De- in Detroit. I just need the money to go. I'm going to in a couple weeks. They're going to be in Columbus, Ohio next Monday. Yeah. After Someone they go that. from Toronto to London to China to Japan. Oh. No, Japan, oh. China, and then back to the States all in oh. one week. Are we getting Ron Smackdown in London? No, they're in London like they just flew in. They're in London right now. Okay, I got you. They literally went from the New York area to Toronto to London to China to Japan, China, and then they got to be back by Monday in Columbus, Ohio. That's f***ing brutal. Um, yeah. I, and before we finish off the heel face talk, what do you think is going to be the best direction – for the Four. stuff that's going on on Raw, I mean, what I mean, Braun? what can you, what yeah, what can you do, man? Braun has to win. You don't have and, your male Money in the Bank winner cash in and fail two years in a row, would you? Because Corbin <laughs> failed last year. I Corbin, don't put so, it. So Corbin was supposed to win. He was supposed to successfully cash in, and then he got heat on him. You remember why? God, I think I remember. I think. John Cena just said, like, no, this ain't it, Chief. No, they had a big, um, they had some doctor come in and do this big old talk to the SmackDown roster. Probably did it with Raw, too, but they did it with the SmackDown roster, talking about concussions and stuff. And Corbin stood up and tried to tell him he didn't know what he was talking about. Oh, my God. I'm a fucking idiot. And so they're like, oh, yeah, uh, you're going to fail your cash in now. I don't blame them. Um,. You know, I, I don't know. You don't want to have that guy lose two two years in a row. Right. The, the, the money man. in the bank holder yeah. lose two years in a row. But do you also want the guy that you've been trying for four years to become world champion after beating Brock Lesnar to lose not even a month but into his But then Roman right? can be the sympathetic baby face that's got to cha- chase the champion again. But how is he going to baby be a baby face if he's – so the whole shield has to be baby face? Because they're really honing well, on I mean, the shield is a thing now. Well, I mean, the shield is back. Dean and Seth. I mean, Seth was the most over baby face they had. Would you say he's the most over baby face in the last 10 years? No, not 10. Five? Maybe like three, two. Really? That short? Probably since he came back in 2016 from his knee injury. I fuck, I marked out when that happened. I'm not going to no, lie. Elimination. No, Extreme Rules when he attacked. Extreme. Roman. Uh, I don't play If you remember, Roman won that title at Mania, and he only held it till June. So it was May. He only held it for like three months that last time he won the title. So having him lose again, it's not like they haven't done that before. I mean, the first time he won the title at Survivor Series, he had the title for 10 minutes, and then Sheamus cashed in. What was it? Sheamus 513 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. There you go. And so, I mean, they're not against short title reigns from Roman because it's more like, oh, we can say in a couple of years, look how many times he's been a world champion. Yeah. It's like Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte's going to be a 16-time champion after freaking the next two years. She's already seven. Yeah, that's way too much. Yeah.